Wow, I put on a lot of blush. I didn't realize that. <laughs> it looks a lot more intense on camera. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you don't know that, now you know. And you guys, today we're going to be playing with Kylie Cosmetics brand new Sailor Summer Collection. That is right, you guys. I got this in the mail a few days ago, probably about a week ago or so now. And I'm really excited and I'm going to play with it. I have not tested a Kylie Cosmetics product in like over a year or have I tested anything? I'm not entirely sure if I've ever actually done a video on these, but this collection looked adorable. I don't usually get all of Kylie's collections. I just get the ones that look appealing to me. So this one definitely did and I got the palette and the lashes. So we're going to be doing both of those today, reviewing those. So let's just jump in. I've already got my face makeup done. My eyes are already primed. We are ready. And if you're new to this channel, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. Don't forget you to click the subscribe button to become part of this weird, awesome, amazing family. And I'll have my Instagram linked right up here for you and in the description. If you don't mind, if you would check me out and follow me over there, I would really appreciate it if you want to, obviously. Um, Instagram is like my second home. <laughs> it's insane, but uh, yes, I'd really appreciate it if you did. Thank you so much in advance, and yeah, let's get in to this. Alrighty, so starting off, here is the packaging. I think this unicorn is so freaking cute. I love the sailor theme, and then even the inside right here, it's got little anchors. I love that. Such a cute little design, and then the actual palette has the same kind of drawing, and then it has the shade names on the back. And then the shade names are also in the front too, but here is what this looks like. How cute is this? I loved the look of this palette. I loved the blues. I thought it was so, so cool. And it kind of gives me kind of like a classic feel. I don't know, it reminds me a little bit of like, you know, like the 40s. I don't know, but I think these colors are very, very pretty. I have not swatched literally any of these yet, so Actually, yes I did, I forgot. I did swatch this one right here. But I don't know why, that was the one that I decided to put my finger into, I don't know. But, but let me do a couple little finger swatches here for you. I know a lot of people have kind of mixed reviews and like mixed opinions on Kylie Cosmetics. I don't really know what to say because I haven't used very many of her products. I don't feel like I really have much of an opinion. But here are three of the shimmer shades. They look very, very pretty. The, oh, I think, is that glitter? I don't actually know, but that one is super chunky. And that one's called Deep Sea. That one is actually really, really chunky, and it looks kind of bad. Um, here is this one. I messed up on that one. But here are these three. This one's Deep Sea, this one is Got the Blues, and this one is Yacht Party? Yeah, Yacht Party. <laughs> Yacht Party. These don't look great they you know they they seem to be okay but we'll see once they get on the eyes swatches mean absolutely nothing i swear i have to get up at least six times throughout the video because i forgot my color switch then i forget my towel then i forget my lash glue or something like it's nuts all right i think i'm gonna go into the shade called tidal wave right here this is the first mat that i'm saying i'm gonna go into this as a a cute transition. I don't know why I say cute. This palette does have quite a lot of fallout. Can you see that right there? I normally don't really care much about fallout, but I know some do. So if you do, then just be aware that this shade in particular did have a bit of fallout. I feel like I need to like figure out how to pull my hair back or something. That bangs keep getting in the way. Oh, this is going on really nicely. Very, very smooth. Is this an eyeshadow palette or pressed pigment? Pressed powder. So it's, so I don't think it's actually an eyeshadow palette. I think it's like a pressed pigment palette. So that could be why these are going on. These are going on really, really smooth. The pigment is pretty good. It's not like crazy pigmented, but this one is a lighter shade. So that is to be expected. That went on really nice. I gotta say that one went on pretty good. That actually looks really nice. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for the crease area. Let's blend it up into my brow a little here. And then I think what I wanna do, I really think that I wanna play with these blues in the palette because the blues look really, really nice. What I may actually do first is I'm gonna take a darker brown really quick and just define the um, crease just a little bit more and then I'll use the blue as my 
super darkening shade. So I'm gonna go into Wavy right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just deepen up the crease with this shade. Again, quite a lot of fallout, but it does pick up nicely on the brush, but there is a fallout. And I'm literally just gonna smack this. <laughs> I'm gonna smack that on the brush. I'm gonna deepen up the crease just a little bit. I love these tiny little brushes where you can literally get right into your crease. Now, this shade is darker than the first shade we put down, but I am having a hard time seeing it. Even though it is darker, it's not like a lot darker or anything. And so I do see it right here, but it is a bit hard to see and I feel like it did get a little bit patchy. Okay, that's a bit better. I think you just have to kind of keep applying it and like blend it out in like slow circular motions just to where it doesn't get patchy. Cool, I like that. It gave just a little bit of depth, not too much. Now we're gonna go into this blue. It's called Blue Ocean. I'm gonna put this, I'm kinda just gonna recreate Kylie's product photo, like her uh, campaign photo shoot. They did the um, blue on the outer corners, which I, thought, which I thought was really, really pretty. I don't know if she used the blue shimmer in here, if she used something else. I don't think I'm gonna use the blue shimmer because I do have to go to Walmart today to pick up my contacts. So I think I'll not use the blue shimmer. <laughs> There's literally nothing wrong with wearing like bold eye makeup to go somewhere. I just don't want to today. Sometimes I do, but I just don't, I just, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> right now so but if you would like to wear like bold eye makeup to go it's not even considered bold you know if you just like to wear eye makeup you do you do you and do what makes you feel the most comfortable I'm gonna go into that blue ocean shade now I'm what I'm curious to see oh wow that actually did pick up a lot on the brush okay I was actually gonna say I'm curious to see how pigmented this shade is because I know sometimes blues and purples and stuff like that are usually a bit harder to make I think that's why she went for a pressed palette over a eyeshadow palette because I do think that eyeshadow palettes are like eyeshadows are a lot harder to make these kinds of shades than pressed pigments. I will say I do like this shade. It is a little hard to blend. I feel like a stamping motion is gonna be your best bet compared to like trying to do circular motions. I think a stamping motion is the way to go with this because I feel like it is applying a lot better and I've actually noticed that with pressed pigments that if you do stamp compared to blend and sweep, then they apply better. So there's that. I just wanted to put it on the very outer portion of the eye. Very, very nice. I really like that shade. That's really pretty. I just heard a plane fly overhead, and that's the first plane I've heard fly in like six months. It's nuts. Cause like no one can travel. So like, that's the first plane that I've heard in such a long time. I will say this blue is quite hard to blend. Like it's hard to, it's not like crazy hard to work with, but it's not super easy either. So there's that, and I think that's where I'm going to leave this. And then for my shimmer, like for the lid shade, maybe I'll do with, I'll do with, I'll go with, go with the float right here. It's this really pretty gold shade. And I think I got blue like all the way down here. This does look really, really pretty. And then let's see how it works. I think this is glitter. Yeah, I don't think this is meant to be shimmer. I think this is glitter. Uh, I don't like it. Let me try the shade called Captain Cutie. This one looks really promising. Yeah, that's really cute, except now I have glitter literally everywhere. I didn't know these were glitter because it doesn't say like literally anywhere on the packaging 
that any of these are glitter shades. And it does look really pretty on the eye though. So I'm gonna have to replicate that. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of go with the float <laughs> on this side, cause that's what I did on the other one. So I'll do a little bit of that and then Captain Cutie. If you do have this palette and if you're planning on using any of these glitter shades, please do so at your own risk because glitter is not meant for the immediate eye area. It is not FDA safe, so just be careful and don't let and don't get this in your eye. This this blue shade, it's pretty, but it is really really hard to work with. Like I'm trying to like fix up this patchy spot right here. Do you see that? where it's just a line, and I cannot, for the life of me, get this shade to stick. I think it's stuck, but it, no, it's still there. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. This is the eyes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my liner and lashes and all that good stuff. I am going to again be using the Kylie lashes for this. They look super, super cute. Here's what they look like. I do love lashes that go out on the end more like this. I think those are my favorite kinds of lashes and I think they suit my face really well. Again, the packaging is super adorable. I love this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner and lashes and then I'll be right back and I'll let you know how the lashes went on. All right, I am back and I've got my lashes applied here. And now I will say, I love these lashes. These lashes are fantastic. They were so easy to put on. The band wasn't stiff or hard to do or anything. One thing I will say is that I feel like they are very delicate though. So like, be really careful with them because I feel like if you pull them too hard or take them out of the container too hard, they will break immediately. I didn't have to cut these at all. They went on perfectly. Like, I love the way they look. I love the shape of them. I think these are such a huge win. Um, these are gonna be some of my favorite lashes. I can probably already tell because I love the way they look and they went on so so well like it was so easy getting these on so love these love the lashes <laughs> i think they're very very nice and then for my mascara i use the pat mcgrath dark star and i use the velour lash adhesive and eyeliner hybrid just kind of did my liner and then smacked my lashes on top and now i'm gonna go back to this palette right here and do the bottom lash line really quick for the bottom lash line, I'm just gonna go into this brown color right here called Wavy. It was that second shade that we used earlier. And I'm just gonna run this along the lower lash line. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of inner corner highlight. And then for that, I am going to use this shade right here called Don't Be Salty, right there. Really, really pretty. Ooh, that one's nice. You know what, I don't wanna, you know, like shit on this palette too much because I bet you if I would have used a brush, these could have probably gone on a lot better. So I don't want to, cause I didn't try. I should have tried. And I just now noticed that, like, I just now realized that. You know, some palettes, some shadows like to be applied with a brush and some like to be applied with your finger. And then some, it doesn't matter how you do it, they can be applied with both. I have a feeling that if I used a brush, these may have applied better. And like here is some, this isn't setting spray, but it'll still, it'll still do the trick here. Well, I actually take that back because it's not picking up on the brush literally at all, like none. Literally none. So I take that back. It probably wouldn't have worked with a brush either. I'm gonna do some bottom mascara really quick. Alright, and now all I have left, I can't blink. I've got glitter literally all over me. This is why I don't ever do my face makeup first. And now for the lips, I'm gonna go into this combo right here from Milani. I've been loving this combo so much. It is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade 03 Nude. And guys, I've actually been using lip liner. Can you, aren't you proud of me? Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the Milani Matte Lipstick. This is a matte lipstick and it's in the shade I Am Smart. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Lunar Beauty Gloss in Starlight. Yes, Starlight. <laughs> 
And here you go, you guys. Here is the finished look that we did create using the new Kylie Summer Collection. I have to say, this palette was not my favorite. I don't hate it by any means, but I feel like this blue shade is just, I feel like it just looks awful. I had a little bit of mascara on there, so I just took that off. But I still just feel like it looks very patchy. It doesn't look blended. And like, I really did try to blend it out. It's just, it's very, it seems very hard to work with. Like, I really tried to blend it out when I was putting on my lashes and everything. I just, I don't think that it applied very good. I even thought that it would apply better with a brush, so that's why I tried to do it, but it seemed like the brush was even worse. It's just, it's so flaky and like putty that like, it just, it's not picking up and it's not my favorite. I, there have been Kylie palettes that I have liked. I still think the look is pretty, like, you know, we got there, but like, I just, I think this looks pretty bad. And I think that the, sh the, the shimmer stuff on top, it just, it's very chunky. It's very glittery. I didn't realize it was going to be so glittery. I thought it was going to be more like, you know, metallic and nice. That Captain Cutie shade is pretty cute, but I still feel like it just looks so... It's not my favorite. I have other palettes that I like more than this. I would pass on this palette personally. I still think it's, like, it's okay. Like, I don't think that it's like the worst thing I've ever used, but I... It's not my favorite. It's just so patchy. However, we are gonna end on a good note, uh, believe you me, because these lashes are awesome. I love these lashes. Again, they were so, so easy to apply, and they are very, very thin and delicate, so like, you don't have to worry about like a huge lash band, like getting in the way or making it hard to apply or anything like that. These just went. Like, they were just, they were just so, easy to apply and nice to use so I cannot wait to use these again. I love the shape of them. I definitely recommend these. These are 100% getting like a 9 out of 10. But yeah, you guys, that has been the review today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you have tried this summer collection from Kylie Cosmetics, what are your thoughts? I would love to know that and just uh, to throw this out there, this is not me trying to attack Kylie or anything literally at all. I actually think she's a really nice person. I've never met her before, but like I think that she's a really good person and I think that she has literally paved the way for a lot of beauty people, you know, like women or men in the beauty industry. I think that it, she has really really set the bar. Like she's she's younger than me. She's like 23 and she's like a billionaire. Like that is insane and that is so so amazing for her and I think that she has literally killed it when it's come to the makeup industry and everything. She has paved the road for young people in the makeup industry. Like it's insane. It's great. So I think that she is amazing. So please don't think that I'm trying to attack her or anything like that. I'm literally not. Like I said, there's other stuff that she has come out with that I really really did like. Like her liquid lips, love them. Her glosses, love them. So I do have things that I like. It's just this one right here was not my personal favorite, but I have used Kylie palettes in the past and I did like them. I just think this one may have just been like a dud for me. But if you have tried it yourself, what are your thoughts? Was there anything that I did wrong or something that I should have tried again using a different technique? Please let me know in the comments below and I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Guys, I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to. If you want to see the videos that I post and when I post them, click the little bell down at the bottom there and make sure you set it to all so that YouTube knows that you want to see my videos. Again, my name is Kenzie. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!